Now, back to more of Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater and your host, Lisa Condon. Thank you, everybody, for listening today. I'm excited to be here with Tara Tula. She is with Table Talk Pies, and she has an awesome job. We're happy to be partnering with Table Talk Pies, especially with Waitress coming up on May 22nd through 26th at the Hanover Theater. And for those of you not familiar with the story, it is inspired by Adrian Shelley's beloved film, and this uplifting musical celebrates friendship, motherhood, and the magic of a well-made pie, which, of course, is perfect for our partnership with Table Talk Pies. So welcome to the program, Tara. Hi, thank you. And so one of the reasons we're talking to you is because in speaking with our friends over at Table Talk Pies, your name came up as one of the long-standing, you've been involved with Table Talk for I don't want to say forever because that would not be fair, but you have a long history with Table Talk Pies. You've seen a lot of changes, and Table Talk story is a great one, especially for a Worcester business. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that, and then we'll get into your pie day festivities? Oh, sure. Um, so I've been with Table Talk for 23 years now. I've seen many changes. Um, it's very exciting to see how far we've come and how much we've grown. We've always been very... Um, dedicated, I guess you'd say, to the community. It's always been important. Absolutely. To do whatever we can. Absolutely. And, you know, that really comes across if anybody gets a chance to go to, you know, either, would you call it the pie factory? So the pie store? Well, I was thinking about where the pies are made, but the pie store is really great, and we were lucky enough to talk with Jeff Warren, who was talking a little bit about the tasting kitchen. But tell us where it started when you first went to work at Table Talk Pies. So when I first started, it was in 1995, and we had one bakery here in Kelly Square at 120 Washington Street. Um, I couldn't even tell you how many employees we had then. We were very small, but busy. And to see that it has grown so much now, you know, we have the second bakery came um, on board in Shrewsbury, I believe is the actual address. Um, It's on Bowditch Street. And then more recently, the new bakery over at Southgate Street. Well, I remember I remember Table Talk Pies when I was really little. The individual pies were always a huge treat, and I really became aware of Table Talk Pies when I was in school because sometimes it would be packed as, not for me because my mother never seemed to pack pie, but my friends, they were lucky enough to have Table Talk Pies in their lunch, and it was always a big hit. I am surprised at the range of products that Table Talk Pies offers now because it's not just those individual pies, which are delicious, but you're found in a lot of different retail environments as well as your pie store. How did that all evolve? And do you want to talk a little bit about the change in the company and how you really have been brought back into a private organization and that really seems to have helped with the growth? So we make... We do our fresh pies, which we bake and ship daily to all stores in New England. Um, We also make a frozen pie. Uh, We do a fully baked pie. We freeze it. And then we also do an unbaked pie and freeze it and sell to – we sell um, private labels um, in grocery chains around the world. That's so cool. And you were talking a little bit before about how community has always been really important to Table Talk Pies, and that comes across when we visit the store or even the factory. And Pie Day is coming up. Do you want to tell us a little bit about Pie Day? So I want to say we started maybe um, 2003 or 2005, I wish I could remember the school that originally called looking to see if we'd be willing to donate pies um, for pie day activities to make learning fun for the students. Um, (laughs) Because everything, Tara, everything is better with pie, right? Absolutely. (laughs) (laughs) So the first school called you and said, hey, would you be willing to help us make it more fun for the students with pies? Right. Um, so we started we started donating. I want to say the first year it was maybe a hundred pies or so, and 
every year we had a few more schools call, and then we decided, hey, why don't we see what we can do to kind of push this for all the local schools. And we just started calling schools in the area. Um, it has grown through today. We are up just around 70,000 pies that we donate to schools. Wow. And so I have a question. With those 70,000 pies that are delivered to schools, and I'm assuming, and I shouldn't, but it, are they mostly in the Worcester area? So they are, there's a lot in the Worcester. Um, we've got schools from Boston, Rhode Island, Connecticut. Um, we've kind of branched out. And we have um, the schools actually come here. We set up in advance, and they all come here to pick up. That is so fun. So if schools wanted to get involved with Pi Day, maybe not this year since, you know, it's already March. For next year, how would they find out more information about that? So what we're going to do, we do have a link on our webpage, um, tabletalkpie.com, and they could always reach out there or call us direct, and we can start working on that. We I normally start in um, January for Pi Day. I bet. And literally takes, I've been working since January and still continued all day today, <laughs> getting in touch with everybody, just following up. And so when do, the, when do the schools have to pick up their pies in order to make it in time for Pi Day? So most of the schools this year, Pi Day is on a Thursday. We have a lot of schools picking up on Saturday, March 9th, and again on Tuesday, March 12th. Wow. And so how long does it take to make all of those pies? How many did you say? Did you say 70,000? 70,000 70, pies. 70,000 pies. Yeah, I wish I could answer that. Basically, I know we're on the schools that are picking up on Saturday, we're making those pies on Friday. So when they come to pick up, they'll all be fresh. And same with Tuesday, we'll make them on Monday. That's amazing. Set them up. Yeah. And, and I know when I was talking to Jeff, I think that you guys have a shelf life for your pies, that they stay fresh. I think he said the target was for three weeks. Um, 12 days. 12 days. Oh. 14, 14. <laughs> the 21 mu must be for those people who look at the um, must-sell-by date and add on to that. That's hysterical. Anything else we you want to have a pecan pie that we do have um, that does go the three weeks, the 21 days. Yum. That was my dad's favorite. What's your favorite kind of pie, Tara? Ooh, that's a great question. I would have to say... I love the blueberry hot out of the oven. Well, you and Jeff, you are very much alike because he said it must be blueberry too. <laughs> <laughs> I I personally love your banana, and I also love the apple, and you have a lot of new flavors, and we're excited to be working with Table Talk Pies promoting Waitress, which I think I mentioned is coming to the Hanover Theater May 22nd through 26th, and we are going to be having a Name That Pie contest, so I want everybody to stay tuned for future programs when we will be talking more about that pie contest, that pie naming contest. And thank you, Tara, for your time. It's really exciting to be working with such a great company based here in Worcester. We feel like we have a lot in common with Table Talk Pies, and we both want people to be happier. And based on your tagline, outside your building, eat more pie, I'm well on my way to helping you fulfill your mission, let me tell you. <laughs>